Alright guys, I haven't made a machining video in a really long time and I definitely haven't added um, any commentary. Uh, what you're looking at here is my CNC milling machine. It is a Tormach 770M. Uh, I bought this machine back in 2019. Uh, I started off just doing a couple hobby things in here and now it runs full production and my wife and I, we, we run a business from home. Uh, as you can see, this is our CNC lathe. So there's that there, it's not on right now, but um, I just wanted to quick give you guys a rundown on not setting up the machine, but just showing you how it operates. Uh, just how to run a program. So right here we have some parts that we're making for a customer. Uh, just 60, 61 aluminum. They all started off as uh, blocks. Then they got milled down. And uh, now there's just basically a top hat left. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick them in this mill. And um, it's not a how-to video, but I just want to show you guys how I do it here. It's just a Saturday morning. We have some jaws that are cut. It's a little bit messy in here. I've already been running. Uh, so yeah, let me show you how I would stick one in. So first off, you make sure your part's clean. I keep things very clean here. What you're going to do is you'll, you'll fit it right in there. You can hear it just seat itself when it sits down. Now what I like to do next is you take the handle. I just cinch down. But what we do here is we use a torque wrench. This way there's no issues. Everything's consistent. Your heights don't change. Your block doesn't move up as you squeeze harder on the vise. So what I do is I just wait for the click there it is that's all it takes pounds it doesn't take much just needs to be consistent guys um, I do check back here I want to make sure everything's clean before I start I'm a huge fan of blowing air I love the air but never ever blow air up under your ways you don't want to get stuff chips, metal, plastic, whatever you run. This is the way to do it. And before each part, I'll come over in here, hit the Y button, and now you, you want to run it in a negative direction. Move your table. Look at all that, hiding. I'm not going to bother with the table so much. Uh, you know, we're about to start running parts, so it's just going to get dirty anyway. Now, if you look, I already have a program preloaded. Don't mind the time, but it does have start stop time, tells you how much. So we're going to start with a quarter inch, uh, sorry, inch and a quarter, three flute, end mill. I have it as end mill, it's actually a high feed mill. Um, here it is here. So, if you see, they're just uh, APKT inserts. High polish, you know. These things last forever, seriously guys. I mean, you're gonna see here how, how, how quickly I ate hog material and you're gonna realize, wow, it's kind of a heavy cut, but, you know, I've been doing this for probably uh, 14, 15 years now and it's, I've been doing this a long time before before I had this mill. You know, I'm so used to running like industrial equipment that's 25, 30 horsepower, stuff like that. More Seekies and Doosan. But anyway, guys, I'm getting off track. Um, I'm going to now switch the tool. You can see there. I don't have a tool changer when I bought the machine. It just wasn't in the budget. No big deal guys, um, it does stink to run a lot of jobs with a lot of tooling, but we make out anyway. So here we go, 
Kind of nice making an uncut video. I'm not used to that. Lately, I've been trying to edit stuff and make longer videos for you guys. I'm trying to catch up a little bit. I haven't really been posting anything. So, program's loaded. I know the tools are touched off. I've been running this for days, but I'm just going to show you guys. So, go ahead and shut the doors. I'm going to turn the corn off just to give you all a little view. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and hit cycle start once. It's going to ask me to put the tool in. The tool is already in. Then you hit cycle start again and the program will start. Now normally there's coolant on, but... this run and then we'll be back in a minute guys all right guys it's still cutting I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna quick cut the cool one off just want to show you This adaptive pad is done. The tool's just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. As you can see right now. Here, I'll open it up. So now we're just doing a, a face pass. You know, we're leaving 25 down. We want everything to be consistent. We want it to be even. We're just about ready for the next tool change. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab your next tool. Three flute, YG1, end mill. This is what we use for aluminum. Now, let me see if I can get you there. Like I said, I love the air. Now I want to do a little bit of blasting, nothing crazy. Everything looks good. I just want to make sure there's nothing anywhere it shouldn't be. And we're ready to run the next tool. So now we can go ahead and hit start. We just hit cycle start again, right here. The tool's gonna come down. gonna start the helix in a hole here.
should have got the touch screen. But I didn't. Now that I know, I would have spent the extra, I forget, hundred hours on it. So this is gonna run for the next few minutes. And then uh, I'll check back here with you guys in a few. Now that we're back, um, we hogged all that material out, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch to the finish tool. So, what I'll do is I'll leave you guys here. We're gonna use a chamfer mill, 90 degrees. All right, I went ahead and turned off the coolant. Actually, I lied, I turned it on. I'm gonna turn it back off. We're gonna take that chamfer mill and we're gonna hit all the edges of this. So let me see if I can find a better angle.
there you have it. There it is. Finished product. Alright guys, once again, appreciate you. Um, I'm going to try to post a couple more things. Uh, I'm going to try to cover the Honda Odysseys a little bit, which I'll be working on here soon. I know it's covered in stuff. Um, don't let it fool you. I'm just moving some stuff around. It's pretty cramped in here. With that being said, appreciate you guys so much. Um, I know everybody says it. It's cringy. But like and subscribe. It really helps out. I want to start making more videos of all this stuff. Uh, so, yeah, bear with me here. Appreciate you.